How much better we got? 45. I hadn't even charged his camera in. Well, since last time, so that been uh, damn near two years ago, too. I wasn't even sure the battery was going to take a charge, but apparently it did. Of course, I started out at like 69% of battery or something, and now after two flights, it's down to 45. So we'll see how this goes. Camera battery lasts or not. tree. <laughs> it's getting hard to see them. The light's fading. It's getting hard to see the trees now. I was supposed to have flown a bit earlier, but then uh, one of the kid's friends came over here and he was about to leave and my youngest was like, hey, show me your tire. So he showed me his right front tire and it had some severe negative camber. So I kind of grabbed a hold of the tire and yanked and it made a horrendous clunky noise. So I looked under and sure enough his top ball joint was completely separated. So I had to explain to him that he, yeah, he should not be driving on that. Because he was thinking if he just didn't drive too far it'll be okay. And I was thinking, no, he probably shouldn't drive at all. So if you're going to drive home, drive slow so when it does fall off at least you won't die. <laughs> But he made the smart decision of just leaving it here. So I'll have a look at that for him tomorrow. Can I fly under a tree today? Hmm. There's so much stuff hanging down though. We'll try it. I haven't flown under a tree in a very long time. Yeah. Like I said, it's getting even hard to see where the trees are now, so. Can't see it. Oh, <laughs> it turned on me while I was behind the tree. I couldn't see it. I couldn't see it. it took too long. The trees are growing out too much. I'm doing the best to to die by shedding huge limbs every time it. It's a bit windy, but a grove on the bottom. A new growth, I guess that is. Ooh. Props not seated. There we go. Oh, we can try flying around it. It's a bit of vantage point here, I think. Key point. Okay, where I thought I think hey. If there used to be a timer, I would do a rolling harry around the tree. Not today. <laughs> I can hardly do a rolling harry at all. So. <laughs> let, let alone around the tree. Looking at the trees since they're the plane. Thought I had more altitude. Well, it did. Of course, I'm flying into terrain that moves up. So, anyway, I was looking like, hmm, I wonder if I can loop around the hanging tree branch, but I'm just not gonna try it because I don't wanna get stuck in the tree. Don't feel like dealing with it. It wouldn't be high up, it wouldn't be a big deal, but it's just, I just don't feel like dealing with it. So. 
What is going on over here? Why are so many people coming and going? I don't get it. Look at that sunset. Probably shouldn't look at that sunset because it gets kind of hard to see the plane. But it is pretty though. Ooh, that's what I get for not looking at the plane. Kids were supposed to spend the night here, but they keep leaving, so I'm not sure what exactly is going on. Nothing really matters to me, I suppose. House full of kids. I mean, I say kids. When they're what, 17, 18, 19. I guess technically not kids. Look, we're at a full scale. Can we hit it? Oh, almost. Crash! <laughs> I shouldn't joke with that. If you would see this and like, oh my god! He's thinking about hitting real planes. For the record, I am not. Not that this thing will do any damage to any plane anyway, of any size. So, besides, if a plane hits this plane, well. I'm not the one doing anything wrong, I'm pretty sure. And hitting my plane on the way down is the least of their worries. The other trees on the ground coming up promptly would be the biggest worry. Now I'm getting into politics, I guess, of what is and isn't legal. So I'm just gonna do me and you do you. <laughs> These things are, of course, under 250, so. You can get a pass. Hey ho. Time's about running out. I got one more battery to go and lights are fading, so we'll just uh grab this thing and uh put the other one in the air. Well, I thought I was going to grab it there, but then it tipped on me. 